Good morning, it's Dr. James. Hey, I hope you're off to an awesome start today. This is such a great morning for you and I to talk about something that I believe is heavy on so many people's heart. And it may be heavy on your heart too. Have you lately been suffering from chronic adultitis, the inflammatory adult, the one who is so serious, so tired and wired, too tired to keep running, but too scared to stop and wondering, what can I do? How do I reset to become creative again, to be full of love and full of peace and to be that superhero? Yeah, that superhero that every day says, you know what? I'm a possibilitarian. I pollinate hope wherever I go. I create genius. I create abundance. I create material wealth. I create a life that I love. Well, you know what? I'm talking about this because <laughs> I, am, I, am being, I am being so honest with you right in this moment. I have had a tendency lately to work way too hard, to be overly zealous with my work. And you know what? Suffering? My play, my playtime, and I've been doing a lot of research over this last couple of weeks because I want to heal. You know what? I don't want to be a worker all the time. I love to work and I love my work. But if you and I could step away and look at some of the greatest science, and some of the greatest research that's been coming out about the most successful people, it is going to give us an opportunity to reassess and embrace the power of play. So if I'm not alone, and I have a good feeling that I'm not alone with this, you have no issue with working hard. Your issue is whether or not you can step back and play more often. You can give yourself permission to exhale. You can give yourself permission to be a child again. Every now and then, give yourself permission to step off the stress express and embrace your hearts knowing that play is a superpower. So here we go. Number one, I'm gonna give you a day in the life of having the most successful opportunity to not only be awesome at your work, but the way that you go and integrate play into your day can literally change your neurochemistry, change your physiology, heal your heart, make your spirit be infectious. So it's not just about you, it's about all of us. Number one, Check this out. This was a study that came out of the University of Pennsylvania, Dr. Kaufman, who said that 72% of the best ideas from the, some of the most brilliant thinkers out there in the world, guess where they happen? They happen in the shower. Oh my God. <laughs> Power to the shower. He was doing this research on his students who were some of the most successful, the ones who went on to be the greatest entrepreneurs and doing amazing things in the world. And guess what? They all were very connected to their power of the shower. Remember Archimedes the Gre back in the Greek mythology and he was the one who sort of coined the phrase, the Eureka moment. And Eureka is like, oh, wow. Awesomeness just came through. Guess where he had his eureka moment? He had it when he was laying in his bathtub. It wasn't when he was in his cubicle. He certainly, he, <laughs> he wasn't struggling in traffic or working overtime. He was lounging in his bathtub. And that's when he had his eureka moment. And he went on to express the, the passion and play dynamic. Here's a beautiful study of University of Georgia. If you love to work out in the morning and you love to have efficiency, this study is so awesome. It was showing that the people who could do high intensity herbal training for about eight to 12 minutes, where you're just like, I mean, woohoo, you're, you're just going for it. And you're doing your intervals. And once you're done with your intervals, you stop and you lay down and you just allow the energy of play to literally go in part of your brain called the anterior cingulate. And the interior cingulate, think of her. She's your genius center. She's the one that has no filter. There's no critical analysis. She's just like, boom, unbridled. She's fearless. She's courageous. And she is your genius center. And when she is potentiated through interval training, which I love to say play, sprinting is like freeze tag. It's like run as fast as you can, you stop. And then you run again and you stop. And oh my gosh, that's what gets that part of your brain rocking. And last but not least, integrate something called huga, H-Y-G-G-E, which is a Danish word that simply means to be. <sighs> the Danes are the happiest people in the world. And folks here in the United States and many westernized cultures, we are the most stressed people. We're not as happy as we used to be. We're, we're losing the essence of play. And you know what? 
the Huga study that says why Danes are so happy, because they'll step back and take 20 minutes, a half an hour, and they'll just be. They'll just be. They'll let their apple juice settle. They'll let their mind just empty out, and they'll be awake to the idea to reclaim their childlike knowing. And when you were a child, you were fearless. You were that person who didn't have the belief system and possibility. You were the one who knew everything was possible. And we believed ourselves out of it. So give yourself permission to practice huga, which is the number one practice of happiness. And that's only after you've showered and you've played your freeze tag and you've rocked the world with the power of play. Don't you love being alive? Let's play together. Let's rock the world awake and let's be everything we came here to be. Enough of chronic adultitis and the inflammation of playing small. Much love, many blessings, deep gratitude for you. Bye for now.